Hello there, I'm just taking a few minutes to show you how to set up the exchange rates and the currency card. So I'm setting up a CNY Chinese Yuan currency um, just very quickly here. I've already put in all the information, but I'll explain it to you. So the currency card will have the code, obviously, and then you type in the description. You have these accounts are normally empty, the unrealized gains, realized gains, etc. So you can put in these accounts if you are using the um, default accounts that come from the Cronus company. Um, Cronus Australia has these numbers. Um, I would assume the rest also have the same. But you can leave the unrealized gains and unrealized losses um, fields empty and you can just complete the realized gains. Um, that's if you care about that and if you are recording it, you can leave everything empty if you have to. But generally the realized gains and losses are completed. Um, in terms of the rounding, um, etc., I leave everything as the default. It does the job well, but again, you can think about how um, you do the rounding in terms of the decimal places, etc., depending on the value of the currency as well. With this one, I'll leave it the same. The reporting section just stays empty as, um, as like this. And then once you're done setting up the card, um, then you can go to actions and hit the exchange rates. Um, the exchange rates um, have obviously the starting date and that is when it is going to be effective from. So for example, if you're creating a purchase order that uh, falls before the 1st of July 2018, you're actually going to end up with an error message saying there is no exchange rate set up for CNY. So you want to make sure that your start date of the exchange rate is correct. Um, this is the currency code that's just filled in for you. The relational currency code is essentially the local one if you leave it empty. If you leave this one empty, then it's the local one. In our case, it is AUD. Um, the exchange rate amount and the relational exchange rate amount, um, if it's essentially saying 1 CNY uh, equals 0 0.21 um, Australian dollar, or 1 Chinese Yuan is going to become 0 0.21 Australian dollar. If you switch it the other way around, then that will also work, um, then 0 0.21 um, you know, or you can do 1.21 equals 1 and that's going to be the opposite. So you can switch them the way you like, but generally I like to keep it like this pretty straightforward. Um, the rest of these ones um, are irrelevant to me, so I'm just going to leave them empty. I don't need to explain them to you. They're kind of self-explanatory if you just click on the top of each one. And then the one that I want to talk about is just the fixed exchange rate amount. If you actually click on that, you see currency, relational currency or both. And this is basically asking you which one are you, do you want to be able to change, right? So if you choose currency, obviously the exchange rate um, <clears throat> is going to be fixed and you can change the relational currency. Um, and if you choose the relational currency to fix, then you'll be able to change the exchange rate amount. And if you want to be able to change both, you can do that as well. Um, generally, to not confuse you, um, I would put one as just the one and the other one as the actual rate so then the the multiplication happens and everything is consistent in the system and I like to keep it to fix the currency and the exchange rate or the relational exchange rate I change um, all the time when I enter transactions so this is the setup that you need to do that's about it thank you